Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Melissa. I'm so thrilled that you are able to be here with us today. Um, I am here today for a Sunday salon video. Um, I've been doing these for, um, I think this is the third one I've done now on Sunday. And basically it's the same idea as Friday reads and um, weekend wrap ups or weekly reading, um, but only on Sunday. So it's a concept that I borrow from the blogging community and I uh, thought I would just, um, you know, bring here to, to booktube. So anyway, um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about um, what I've been reading this week. So I've not had too much progress on, in, on that front. I've been reading uh, mostly uh, White Daughter Self. You can see um, this is by Beth Kephart. I've talked about Beth on this channel before. Um, my Kindle does not have color, so what you're missing in this um, picture is like the, the flowers are like a light blue or different um, different varieties of blue. Um, her hu Beth's husband, um, Bill, actually drew the cover design of this. But basically what this is, is it is another uh, gorgeous memoir from Beth Kephart, who I have mentioned on this channel before. Um, she is a, an incredibly talented author that does not have uh, as big of a following as she probably should. Um, and uh, her new memoir is about her life as a wife, a daughter, and then uh, evolution into self. Um, I am about halfway through this right now. Um, the wife part talks about her relationship with her husband, Bill. Um, and also goes into detail about their decision to kind of to transform their lives, their business. Um, I, I know that Beth was um, had done a lot of corporate writing for a while, and they um, became there came a time where they had to uh, change up their business a little bit, and um, that began uh, juncture workshops um, that that and the where she offers like memoir teaching and writing um, to people during like week-long retreats. That's kind of like one of my uh, life bucket list goals in order to be able to to go on one of those when we're back to able to gather in person again. But anyway, I'm really enjoying this one. Um, the, the daughter is about her relationship with her father. Anybody who's had an aging parent can relate to this part of the memoir. Um, and it's incredibly well written. It's it's just one of um, Beth's. I think I think if you've read any of her books before, um, she writes in a wide variety of genres. So she has written young adult books. She's written middle grade. Um, she has, I believe, this might be. I don't want to misspeak, misspeak but um, this might be her sixth memoir. Not too sure about that, but. Anyway, so she um, she's just incredibly talented. Um, anyway, and and uh, like also like also the other book I've been reading, Carrie Neville. Um, Beth is also a friend. Carrie is a friend. I'm going to talk a little bit about that in a, in a little bit. But I've also been reading Remember to Forget Me, which is Carrie Neville's um, collection of short stories. I have about four more to go in this. I've been reading maybe one a night. But these are all great stories about loss, um, about memory. It's there. Each one, it, there's not a bad one in the bunch so far. I think that this is just uh, a fantastic short story collection. I know that not a lot of people are uh, fans of short story collections. I happen to, I happen to love them, and this one is really one that I've um, that I'm really enjoying too. So. And I did want to, I did want to say something about that. Like I said, Carrie is somebody who I consider to be a friend and Beth is as well. And I wanted to do, I guess like a disclaimer of sorts here on the channel to say that, you know, I'm not intending my channel to be like a shout out or a platform for everybody I know who has written a book or, um, or, or anything like that. But rather, I, I feel like I, I'm privileged to know a, a fair amount of authors either through connecting with them on social media or having um, met them at book signings. I've 
think I mentioned before on the channel that I'm really lucky to live um, where I do in Pittsburgh and we have an incredibly literary community here in Pittsburgh and so we've we've had the chance to meet um, people um, and you know like I said like through my book blogging days um, and reviewing professionally like some of them have become I've, I've kept in touch with them and become friendly with them so I feel like but I also feel like there would be no difference in shouting out their book as opposed to another book that I like. You know what I mean? Um, to me, the, the friendship does not supersede the quality of the book. Um, if, if somebody I know has written a book and I don't like it, then I'm not going to be talking about it. Um, but these happen to be two that I think are you know, exceptionally well done. They're both brilliant authors. And, um, like I said, I, I just, I, I just felt like I needed to say something about that. Not because there's been any criticism or any backlash, but I, I'm conscious that the last couple videos I've mentioned, uh, either these two books or other ones, um, that happen to be written by people I know personally. So, uh, anyway, so enough of that ramble. You get, you get what I'm trying to say, hopefully. Um, which is that, you know, I, I strive to review quality books no matter who they're written by. And if they happen to be written by somebody I know, then all the better. Um, anyway, so yeah, so remember to forget me and my, uh, my Kindle is still on and, um, Wife, Daughter, Self have been my main reads, uh, of the week in addition to, oh, I should also say, remember to forget me is one that I am reading for the Irish Readathon. Um, I think that as we are now um, halfway into March, uh, a little bit more than, um, well, yeah, halfway into March, I think that uh, the, the reality of um, me completing all of the bookish things that I want to read this month is probably not going to happen. Um, so I think. You know, if I'm lucky, I'm probably going to wind up doing like one book, um, one book for the Mammoth, one book for the, um, for the Irish Readathon, and one book for the, um, I'm blanking on what the other one is that, um, that I'm thinking about, uh, that, that I had, uh, agreed to do. Anyway, so whatever, um. Yeah, this is, this is kind of like a rambling video, but anyway, so this is going to be my one for, uh, oh, the mystery, the, the mystery, um, the, the mystery, yeah, one, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to that one or not, uh, but anyway, uh, remember to forget me, great st short story collection, I'm going to read that, that's going to be my Irish readathon book, uh, also for the mammoths, I'm kind of cheating on the mammoths a little bit, um, uh, with A Promised Land by Barack Obama, he, um, needs no introduction obviously um this one i this is only a uh, little less this is definitely under 800 pages which is the uh cut out the um bare minimum for the mammoth um readathon march of the mammoth and um so that's just gonna have to do i was hoping to read it um soon anyway so I just figured I would read this um, because I really don't have too many 800 page plus books on my shelves. And uh, so anyway, I am about um, 363 pages into this. I listened to about the first 300 on audio, um, which is great because uh, Obama narrates it. So I highly recommend that, uh, that version. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, Promised Land is my mammoth book, and like I said, Remember to Forget Me is my Irish Readathon. Wife Taught Herself is just kind of a throw, throwaway book. I mean, not a throwaway book, but it doesn't really fit in with any of the challenges that I am reading. Um, so, um, I also wanted to show some books, oh, a book I got out from the library this week. This was this week's library haul, Dusk, Night, Dawn by Anne Lamott. Um, Anne Lamott is kind of hit or miss for me. Sometimes I can, uh, handle it. Uh, I, like the, the religious stuff, I, I don't, I kind of gloss over that, but I really also love a lot of what she has to say. And, uh, 
uh, yeah, so interested in giving that one a try. Uh, pick that up from the library. I have out from the library, this one's due back Tuesday with no renewals. I have Stacey Abrams, Our Time Is Now. Um, I'm really interested in getting to this one um, because, you know, I, I saw a meme or a, a tweet or whatever this week that, you know, we're all ex very excited about receiving the stimulus packet, uh, package, um, you know, glad that that passed here in the States, um, that's really going to help a lot of people. Um, we would not have that if it wasn't for the two senators in Georgia who um, were elected in a special election and uh, as a result Stacey Abrams and many other people's efforts. So interested in reading this one um, because I feel like it's kind of timely. Um, and then also on audio for this week I have a choice of either Luster, which just made it onto uh, the women's prize list so excited about that i'm also have conditional citizens on audio as well so i'm not sure which one i'm going to pick up reading and i also have my march my booktube spin book dryers english that i need to get to this month as well so um so yeah so there's a lot of reading ahead and um so yeah what else do i want to say so Oh, also, uh, Kelly over at Books I'm Not Reading has a uh, St. Patrick's Day shout out. St. Patrick's Day is this Wednesday, I believe. Um, <clears throat> and the intent was for larger channels, of which I am definitely not one, but for larger channels to shout out smaller booktubers. And I was fortunate to be shouted out by Courtney Ferreter. Um, so thank you, Courtney. I really appreciate that very much. Um, so she shouted me out and I feel like even though I am nowhere near uh, a big channel, I wanted to also shout out a couple small booktubers um, that I've been reading and that I've been watching um, in the past, um, you know, th three months or so since I've been on booktube. Um, one is uh, Beth Ann, I'm going to botch her name so I apologize in advance, Beth Ann, uh, is uh, Beth Ann Bruning Bruninga Sokolar. Um, and Beth Ann's channel is really a thoughtful channel. I really like what she has to say. She is a scientist by training and in her day job and she talks a lot about books and she also talks about other issues too. Like she just had a video on Friday, I believe, about imposter syndrome that was really interesting to listen to and to get her take on. So, um, so I highly, I will obviously link all these below. But um, wanted you to um, make sure to check out Beth Ann's channel if you have not already. I think that she is just one of the most thoughtful booktubers uh, out there. Also, another one I wanted to mention too um, is uh, my friend Sue Jackson. Um, she is also from, uh, I know we know each other from our blogging um, exploits. Um, so Sue runs the Book by Book blog and which is how I became um, acquainted with her through our blogs. Um, oh, I should mention that Beth Ann only has 160 subscribers, which is criminal for the wonderful content that she delivers. So, um, yeah, so make your way over to there. Sue is a brand new booktuber. I think that she's only had her channel for about maybe I want to say like a month or so now and she only has 41 subscribers she has the most um, melodic you know, voice that I think I have really ever heard I think um, she's just so um, you know just listening to her talk about books is is just really kind of soothing in a way so Sue only has 41 subscribers she also uses her channel to talk about um, her chronic illness and to educate people about that um, so I highly encourage you to to check out her channel for that content as well uh, other than that I think that that is really all that I wanted to say um, for this week um, it's been a pretty good week my husband got his first COVID vaccine so very happy about that uh, he has his second one scheduled on the 27th. Uh, I still don't qualify yet. It's probably going to be a little while before I, I qualify, but uh, I'm really encouraged and optimistic and hopeful um, for the first time in a while um, with, you know, uh, Joe Biden's, uh, you know, 
his uh, goal that we will all be eligible to be vaccinated by um, May 1st. I know it probably won't mean that we will be vaccinated by then, but um, it's really encouraging to hear. So that was the week, kind of a quiet week otherwise. Um, like I said, not much bookish readings to be done. So I'm going to end this one here. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and um, I will leave all the books in the channels in the comments below and um, again happy reading thanks bye